Hi. I have a Linux unit. Thermostat says, error code 413 on outdoor unit. The unit has a few leaves in it from a storm last night, but the same amount as the downstairs unit which is operating fine. Nothing seems to be obstructing the airflow. What can I do? What happened just before your Linux thermostat displayed this message? Not sure. Was overnight when it happened. How long has this been going on with your Linux thermostat? What have you tried so far? Never. Always operated fine. Nothing except visual inspection of outdoor unit and checking circuit breaker to make sure nothing tripped there. Anything else we should know to help you best? No, that's all the information I have. I was just curious if this was something I could reset myself. Please read the entire message before responding hi there, my name is Vega got over 10 years in the trade, and I'll be glad to help please disregard any automated phone request or service requests as they are generated by the website. You do not have to accept phone requests unless you want phone service from me please bear with my responses, actively working on the job site also. I am human but I will do my best to reply ASAP. Hello Tamar. Thank you for texting me back. I was hoping you could help me with my Linux unit. Outdoor unit error code 413. Surely. Code 413 is high pressure lockout. Have you tried cycling the outdoor unit breaker and indoor breaker off and on again? I have not. I will try that. I did that. Now, both upstairs and downstairs units are reading as waiting. Neither are running. Okay, if both breakers are on give it about 5 minutes. Downstairs unit, one not affected, is back on. Still waiting on upstairs. Neither the outdoor or indoor unit are running. The downstairs unit is running properly again. Neither the indoor or outdoor upstairs unit are running. The thermostat just says the system is waiting and it still shows error 413. Can you give me the model number of the thermostat? Where can I find it? I removed it from the wall, but I still cannot find that model number. It has the serial number instead. I will look through our files. Was there any other codes besides 413? No. Just 413. Okay. So if it's still throwing a code the pressure switch is still telling the board the pressure is abnormally high. The 413 should automatically clear itself with no need for a reset. Is the outside unit dirty? The causes for that high pressure would be like, dirty coil, fan motor issue, reversing valve issue or a restriction in the refrigeration cycle. This is looking at the components inside the outdoor unit. Some leaves. How about the actual coil, is it dirty? That's the most important thing. Air has to be sucked through it to cool and condense the refrigerant. If it's dirty or has a bad fan motor, that can cause your 413 code. The coil does not look terribly dirty, but it is hard to tell with the outer casing still on. It looks the same as the other unit that is working. 
Is that something I can hose down myself, or more trouble than it's worth? You can hose it down, just turn the breaker off. Spray it with light pressure, not super super hard pressure because you will bend the fins. Sounds good. Spray it just from the outside or take the top grid off and spray on the inside as well? Just from the outside. Great. I'll get started with that in a few minutes. Thank you for being available. I will let you know if that solves the problem or not. And number 55358 semicolon and number 56606 semicolon and number 55356 semicolon and number 57340. Thank you, Tamar. You're welcome. Let me know how everything goes. No. Unfortunately, it did not work. Any other thoughts? That code is auto reset, meaning there's nothing you should have to do to reset it. Basically it's saying the internal pressure of the machine is abnormally high, this information may be correct or incorrect, depending on if the sensor or board is bad. It could be anything from a bad capacitor, high pressure switch, or board slash stat. On the refrigeration end of things, could be an issue with, restriction in the lines, filter dryer or the metering device. Do you have a multimeter that can read capacitance? No. I don't. I did put a call into our local company. They should be able to come tomorrow. I was hoping that you and I could fix it, but no worries. I appreciate all of your help. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry about that. Wish you the best of luck friend. Please read the entire message before responding. Hi there. My name is Vega. got over 10 years in the trade, and I'll be glad to help. Please disregard any automated phone request or service requests as they are generated by the website. You do not have to accept phone requests unless you want phone service from me. Please bear with my responses, actively working on the job site also. I'm human but I will do my best to reply. Asap if you don't mind, please take a second of your time and remember to rate using the stars on the top left. Hopefully I've earned 5 stars we can continue to chat after you rate, and you can ask follow-up questions free of charge. Thank you and have a blessed day tomorrow. Ah shucks. I'm sorry I didn't mean to post that long message. Please remember to rate, and have a blessed weekend thanks. Thank you for all of your help. I will. You, also, have a blessed weekend. Thanks. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.